the ancient Belarusian folk songs are still performed today. Songs whose origins arise from the distant pagan past, centuries before Christianity and long before even the melodies of medieval times were written. The story of the oldest European folk songs, ancient Belarusian folk songs, begins in Belarus. The name of the country Belarus is relatively new and has been associated with the modern territory for only the last couple of centuries. Belarus is a country located in the geographic center of Europe. It has a rich historical past which can be traced back to the Neolithic period and the time of the Krivoji clan. Based on archaeological findings, we can trace Belarusian history back 30,000 years. The father of ancient history, Herodotus, was the first to leave written evidence that people lived in the territory of modern Belarus. A detailed history of Belarus can be traced back approximately 1,000 years based on written sources. From the 9th to the 13th centuries, Belarus was represented by three princedoms, Polets, Turovapinsk, and Haradzinsk. But its golden era was during the time of the great king Vitat, who ruled at the end of the 14th century when Belarus, known then as Litva, was a major part of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania, one of the greatest medieval empires of Europe, stretching from the Baltic Sea to the Black Sea. The Belarusian city of Navahrudak was the capital of the Grand Duchy, and the old Belarusian language was the state language. Due to the geographic position, Literally, where East meets the West, the lands of Belarus were often overrun by war, as it was a precious and strategically valuable place. The territory changed hands. From the 16th to the 18th centuries, Belarus became part of the Rech Pospolita. In 1697, the Parliament of Rech Pospolita issued a declaration that all clerical state correspondence must be conducted in Polish. This ended a history of Old Belarusian language and Old Belarusian literature. The Belarusian language became a language of villagers and plain folk, or scum, as Polish nobility called the peasants. Then, from the end of the 18th century to the beginning of the 20th century, it was a part of the vast Russian Empire. It was Russian Empress Yekaterina II who issued the law which completely prohibited the use of the Belarusian language, and the country was known merely as the Northwestern Region. Yekaterina II, who was not only an empress, but also a historian, arranged historical facts in such a way that they justified and explained that she did not just seize these lands, but reunited them. At the beginning of the 20th century, the Belarusian National Revival took place. The belief that Belarus is, in fact, a nation, and that Belarusians have a right to speak, write, and create in their own language was not only held anymore by a small group of cultural activists and Belarusian liberals, but became accepted by more and more people in Belarus. After the revolution in 1917, Belarus became a republic of the communist USSR, the Belarusian Soviet Socialist Republic, or the BSSR. Finally, in 1991, after the dissolution of the Soviet Union, the state became the independent Republic of Belarus. The Songs of Old Europe ancient Belarusian folk songs.